and meet regularly and urge you to go ahead and also explore different clubs all over the world because the the best part about the lockdown is that we can attend any meeting of any part of the world any day so that our learnings can grow on and we can learn more i can see a few guests in today's meeting and i would like to have introduction of the guests starting with guest kalpesh patel please introduce yourself how you got to know about toastmasters and your intent behind joining the meeting hi i am member of amdava toastmaster club i am it professional working as a program manager in controllers data center i get to know about club through it uh, or ti websites this is the advantage of online meeting so i thought like let's participate in this delhi meeting and we'll learn something new thank you for this giving the opportunity to invite me thanks thank you for joining us kalpesh glad to have you here thank you next take the introduction of guest ankur khangar please introduce yourself hi my name is ankur and uh, i am a it professional and my main objective to attend this meeting to you know to have to know other person point of view to have conversation and to increase my you know social circle thank you ankur for joining us and hope you find this meeting interesting and you enjoy today thank you so much so let's take the introduction of guest ashish sharma please introduce yourself and your intent behind joining today's meeting guest ashish sharma hi can you hear me hi my name is yes. ashish yes and i'm uh, recently moved to delhi and this is the first time that i'm joining a zoom call and this is a very new experience for me and hope to learn uh, new things as well from all of you guys thank you so much for joining us ashish thank you. a great meeting and i'm sure you, so you are going to enjoy <laughs> thank you so much okay so that's all i think the guests we have in today's meeting so now i won't be wasting any time and would be introducing you all to the actual role players of today's meeting who who will be playing in today's meeting and make us enjoy today's meeting is very interesting and we have our toastmaster of the day as toastmaster devi d who is who had been a district finalist of evaluation contest who is a writer and a great motivation for us and i am sure she is going to make us all enjoy a lot in today's meeting and i always look forward to meetings in which toastmaster devi is the toastmaster of the day she is a very lively and a grounded person and i would like to hand over the stage to toastmaster devi d she has brought a very amazing theme for us the unexplored places of delhi so let's see what all she is going to recommend us to explore in delhi over to you toastmaster devi d thank you so much uh, toastmaster bhavya jain thank you so much for the warm welcome hope i'm uh, uh, clearly audible yeah. yes so yeah. much so yeah. a warm good evening toastmasters and my dear guests i cordially welcome you all to the 288 meeting of delhi one toastmasters before i start off with the theme of the day unexplored places of delhi let me ask you all a question any of you can answer by unmuting or show or with a show of hands how many of you love traveling and going to unexplored places or who is a travel enthusiast i can see toastmaster roli toastmaster sajjal toastmaster bela i think almost everyone here loves traveling now coming to my next question how many of you have visited red fort in delhi or qutub minar in delhi i think here too almost all of us have visited these historical monuments now if i ask you how many of you have visited the 
Indo African Rose Garden. Or how many of you have visited Majnu Katila? I think not many. Many would come up. It's certain this is a set of unexplored places in Delhi, which I myself didn't knew like two three months back. Until I was so exhausted with visiting all the historical monuments in Delhi that I made up a point to visit all the unexplored places. So I, after visiting all these unexplored places, I found myself amidst nature. Many of these places which I'm going to cover, they're set amidst nature. You see the natural beauty at its best. And I was wondering why didn't I get to know about these places earlier? So, in fact, many of these places are even much better than the great monuments that we see or the famous monuments that we see. So, in the course of this meeting, I'll give you a sneak peek into my experiences of visiting these places, and I'll also be collecting inputs from you all so that I can plan my next journey. So first, let me start off with the place I love the most, that is Nehru Park in South Delhi. And now you must be wondering if she's going to come out with pictures or if she's going to show a PPT. Let me confess that purposely I have not put any pictures of the places because I want you all to go and visit and feel for yourself how these places are. So coming to Nehru Park in Delhi, that is in South Delhi, it's a sprawling area, very sprawling area with full of greenery and you would really love the water fountain over there. When I had been on a Saturday afternoon, I could see a lot of people who have gathered there with their pets. Most of the parks in Delhi, we don't see so many pet animals here. Dogs of all breed. If you are a pet lover, you will really like watching dogs of all breed. I even got to interact with some of the pets and also the plant variety, places to sit, a lot of shady areas. It was a mind-blowing experience. Trust me, I stayed for like two to three hours there sunbathing and especially it's good to go in a winter afternoon because you can have that full sunbathing over there. So this is about the first place that I recommend you to visit. And before I delve into all the places, let's get started off with our Toastmasters meeting. Just like how a travel experience consists of three stages. Like the first stage, you need to plan your visit or decide on what to visit, when to visit. And the second stage, you make the actual visit. And the third stage, you share your experiences. Similar way, a Toastmasters meeting is divided into three stages or three, there are three platforms or you can say there are three stages in a Toastmasters meeting. Like number one, you have the prepared speech section. That is a speaker comes on to the podium and gives a well-prepared speech. Number two, you have the impromptu speaking session. For example, in traveling also you have to be careful about unforeseen circumstances. Your vehicle breaks down or you don't find your way. Similarly, in an impromptu speaking session, you have to act impromptu and speak on a topic. And third is the evaluation section. In an evaluation section, you get complete feedback on your performance or it is also called the general evaluation section. So to help me in conducting this meeting smoothly, I have my army of role players. So number one, I have the timer for today's meeting. Just like how visiting a place, while visiting a place, you need to keep in mind the timing, when to visit in summer or in winter. In Toastmasters, each speech or each table topic or evaluation is well timed. So let's hear it out from the timer of today's meeting, Toastmaster Karthik Mishra. Thank you, Team Odd, Toastmaster Devi. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Karthik Mishra, timer of today's meeting. My job for today is to 
record, remind, and report time taken by each and every respected Toastmaster and guest. Uh, so please take note of the your time limit, and I will show three cards in my virtual background. As you can see me, green is the first stage of time limit. Uh, second is yellow color, and third is red color. Red color means it's time to for you to stop what uh, your speech and whatever you are saying. You have thirty seconds grace in order so no one can get disqualified. That's it from my end. Over to T mode. Thank you. Uh, Toastmaster Kartik Mishra. So just like how we have unforeseen circumstances in a travel or in a, a when you explore a place, just like that, when you speak, you come out with certain filler sounds like ahs and ums to help us tackle these filler sounds. We have the ah counter for today's meeting. Toastmaster Bela Agarwal. Over to you, Bela Agarwal. Good evening, everyone. Our Timod Devidi had put a, a, a story, a beautiful parrot in a garden. And when I asked her about the place, she told me it was Kutsi Yabag in Kashmiri Gate. It has been more than 25 years since I have been in Delhi but it was the first time I came across the name of this garden. It is definitely a place I will explore someday. And thank to Toastmaster David. Good evening, everyone. Uh, fellow Toastmasters and guests, my name is Bela Agrawal and I am the accountant today's meeting. For the benefits of our guests and new members, I would like to explain the role of the A counter. When we speak, we sometimes use filler sounds such as A, uh, um, uh, we know, I know. A, a lot of times, this is not evident to us, but it is very clear to the listener. The A counter help us polish our language by identifying these fillers. I will present my report during the evaluation session. Thank you. Over to you. Toastmaster Thank you so much, Toastmaster Bela. When we are traveling or exploring places, added knowledge of a language is very handy. Especially if you are traveling to a Tibetan area, if you know the Tibetan language, you can better converse with the people staying there. Similarly, in Toastmasters, we have a language evaluator who will help us in keeping track of our language skills, how we have performed with respect to language, grammar, and so on. So we have a language evaluator for today, Toastmaster George Dave Berman. And Toastmaster George Dave Berman is performing his debut role here at Delhi One Toastmasters. Let's give him a big round of applause. Hi Devi, sorry, I'm the language evaluator for today's meeting. Okay. Is, oh. I think uh, there is a replacement. So yeah. in George Dave Berman, uh, Santosh Devi will be taking up the role of language evaluator. Over to you Toastmaster Santosh Devi. Thank you so much Toastmaster Devi D. Good evening everyone. I'm the language evaluator for today's meeting. And my job is today threefold. First, I will be noting down the good uses of language. And the second, I will noting down the incorrect uses of the language. And the thirdly, I will be note down the, the word of the day, usage of the word of the day. And the word of the day is obscure, that is adjective. And the spelling is OBS. C U R E obscure meaning known discovered or uncertain. I have few examples like we must not be obscure while defining our goals. 
the effectiveness of the vaccine for coronavirus is still obscure i encourage you all please use the word of the day as much as possible during your speeches so that's uh, all from my side i will present my report during the evaluation session when the general evaluator calls me to do the same over to your toast master devi d thank you so much toast master santosh devi i hope toast master santosh devi is the language evaluator as well uh, yes i am the listener as well yes so now coming to the role of listener listening skills again come to great aid when you are traveling you get to know the conversations i usually try to make use of this listening skill during traveling to collect story ideas you just eavesdrop a conversation while traveling to new places you get some new story idea or write up idea similarly in toastmasters we have a listeners role who will test how attentive we are throughout the meeting so i'll not explain more i'll instead welcome the listener for today's meeting again it's going to be toastmaster santosh devi thank you toastmaster devi d good evening once again listening is a great skill by which you can explore the areas where you didn't go let's give an example if someone is talking about the akshardham and if you didn't visit there just listening you can know number of things that particular place today my job is to check your listening skill by asking the questions and these questions i will collect from the speeches of the speakers as well as other role players whoever will speak today on the virtual stage so i will i will be asking the questions so please listen uh, effectively in today's meeting thank you over to your toastmaster devi d thank you so much toastmaster santosh devi now it is time to kick start the first session of to a toastmasters meeting that is the prepared speech session and i urge you all to enthusiastically applaud all the speakers you can either switch on your camera or if there are technical difficulties at your end please make sure that you give a virtual applause so it acts as a boost or motivation for the role players to perform so our first speaker is going to be our new member toastmaster alok kujur before i call him on to the stage i'll request his speech evaluator toastmaster tito matthew to read out his speech objectives over to you toastmaster tito good evening uh, uh everyone uh, thank you madam uh, toastmaster of the day so to alok kujur is giving his ice breaker speech from the path dynamic leadership the purpose of this project or speech is introduce the member to the club and let him learn the basic structure of giving a public speech my best wishes to alok kujur for a great journey masters or to toastmaster alok kujur thank you thank you so much toastmaster tito matthew and for the benefit of the audience let me state the fact that since toastmaster alok kujur is giving his first speech normally we give a standing ovation if we would have been in a offline meeting platform but since this is a online meeting platform till let's all switch on our videos and applaud him enthusiastically after he finishes his speech now it's time to call upon toastmaster alok kujur when i asked alok which is his favorite least explored place in delhi so he had an interesting answer he said madras cafe at green park especially that's because he loves south indian food and also especially the filter coffee which almost all of us love it so let's welcome toastmaster alok kujur reinventing myself reinventing myself toastmaster alok kujur thank you i hope i am audible and clearly visible you are alok 
what do you think when you see a child sitting lonely in a playground while all the kids are busy playing you might think that the child must be upset about something or he may not be in the mood to play at all but what if the child really wanted to play but couldn't gather enough courage to go and ask other kids to let him play with them well fellow toastmasters and my dear friends that kid was me alok ju the word alok actually is a synonym to the word brightness but as a kid i was totally opposite to what my name actually meant i was so afraid of being in the limelight that i would literally wet my pants if a teacher stood me up in the class to ask any questions thankfully that never really happened but that was the level of my nervousness while speaking in front of anyone uh, so speaking about my childhood i was born in a small town small obscure town called perambar near chennai in the year 1981 After my early childhood days in the town, uh, my family moved to Ranchi, Jharkhand. So majority of my uh, schooling days were spent in a boarding school at Ranchi. Uh, growing up, I always used to think, uh, what is it that, what is it in the other kids that make them so uh, outspoken, so upfront, and so extrovert in nature? Can I ever really sing or dance like them on a stage? but at the time it was for me like reaching for the moon which was never really going to happen but things did change for me during college days so having come from boys school i i found the new college life very new and exciting so i decided to reinvent myself so i became friends with uh, many new people and uh, participated in many college events and extracurricular activities and sports So, and yes i did dance on the stage but uh, this urge to reinvent myself also uh, came with a cost days went by enjoying and goofing around with friends it was until sixth semester of my college that i realized that i had accumulated backlogs in various subjects and that i would not be allowed to participate in college placements fortunately i cleared all my backlogs but until that time i cleared them the placement season was over i was without any job and i used that on my head due to the education loan that i had taken so i came to delhi looking for a job i decided to appear for civil services examination as everybody around me were was aspiring to become an ias officer but after two failed attempts at the exam and spending lakhs of rupees on uh, on coaching i decided to quit upsc preparation because i realized it was not my calling luckily after a short while i landed a job at as an engineer at delhi metro but after spending 6 years i feel my growth has somehow stagnated at some point both on a professional as well as on a personal level i i wanted more not necessarily in the material sense of personal wealth or success but i wanted more out of life i wanted a passion a conceptual dream that wouldn't let me sleep out of pure excitement i mean we all have a dream it might be something explicitly defined or just a vague idea but most of us are so stuck in the muck of insecurity and self doubt that we just dismiss it as something unrealistic or uh, something too difficult to pursue and yes i know i am a bit introverted but i have always dreamt of becoming a leader or an entrepreneur who could inspire others or create a some create something which will bring a positive change in the society the only hindrance i realize now is my communication skills so here i am at toastmasters looking for an exciting journey ahead frankly speaking i didn't know what to expect from toastmasters and even though i couldn't see the future as clearly as before i decided to take the plunge in this public speaking journey in hopes that in the depths of fear and failure i would come uh, come out alive feeling more than ever and what really served as a real confident booster for me was when i attended as a guest in several meetings i saw various toastmasters like 
devaki bhavya abhishek were much younger to me but the way they uh, presented themselves and conducted the meetings were so was so was so effortless was so impressive that i thought of becoming a member i always remember a proverb which says a journey of a thousand miles always begins with a single step i thought they must also have started at some point as a beginner and worked so hard to achieve such public speaking skills and also besides with some helpful veterans like toshmaster tito toshmaster roli or toshmaster jyoti who provides such a conducive and environment support to learn and grow i realized i was in a good company and i couldn't have made a better decision to join toshmasters where leaders are made thank you over to you toshmaster thank you so much toshmaster alok thanks for starting your journey with toshmasters <laughs> let's continue applauding him Master, can we have the feedback link on the chat window so that members can take like thirty seconds to give feedback for the speaker? So there's a feedback link that is that has appeared on the chat window. Just take thirty seconds to give feedback for the speaker. A timer. Let just let me know when the thirty seconds are up. yeah the 30 seconds are up now moving on to our next speaker our next speaker is going to be toastmaster bhavya jain before i call upon toastmaster bhavya jain on to the stage let me ask our evaluator toastmaster sajjal jain to please read out the speech objective over to you toastmaster sajjal thank you so much toastmaster devi Toastmaster Bhavya will be delivering a level 4 speech from the path innovative planning. The purpose of this project is for the member to learn about and practice facilitating a question and answer session. The purpose of this speech is for the member to practice delivering an informative speech and running a well organized question and answer session. The member is responsible for managing time so there is adequate opportunity for both. Timer, please note that this speech is for eighteen to twenty minutes. I wish Toastmaster Bhavya all the very best for her speech. Over to you, Toastmaster Devi. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sajjal Jain. Toastmaster Bhavya Jain is one of the most enthusiastic members of Delhi One Toastmasters, and she is the president. And when I asked her, what is one of the you know one of the least explored place that she loved in Delhi? she gave me an interesting answer i wasn't aware of this place that is the sanskrit kala kendra in south delhi githoni so i would one day probably explore the place so now it's time to call upon toastmaster bhavya jain toastmaster bhavya jain delhi a smart city delhi a smart city toastmaster bhavya jain thank you so much toastmaster devi ji i would uh, request the members and guests to please note down any questions if you have during my speech as after the speech there would be a question and answer session and i can answer any question you have in your mind so delhi is a cosmopolitan city in which various people from many states of india come and live here it is a city which has a rich culture and history it celebrates all the festivals all over the india However Delhi is facing a very serious problem which many of the urban cities are facing nowadays the problem of growing population however the problem which delhi is facing is more difficult than any other city because according to united nations in the next 10 years 
Delhi is going to be the most populated city in the entire world. This would be really a very big problem as many people, especially the migrants coming into Delhi would need better public transportation, infrastructure and affordable housing. For this, government has made various programs in public and private partnerships so that infrastructure can be developed, taking care of different needs of various user groups who are of different religion, caste, rich, poor, different backgrounds, and they can all be inclusive in the society. That way, a city would be a smart city, which is accessible, affordable, and reliant. There is a transit-oriented development, which, which is built near a public transport that is accessible by metro, buses, normal rickshaws, and cabs, where people live, work, and leisure all at a walkable distance so that people don't need to travel at all, and there is very less pollution and traffic jams. This way, more people can just live together in a place and interact with each other more. And it also have another benefit, which would be a safer street and a walkable environment. There are various elements in a street design which needs to be taken care of, which are however missed in most of the places in Delhi. There is a concept of eyes on street in which the strategically the places are designed so that always there are eyes looking on that street so that it is very safe for people to walk at any time of the day for example this is a place where on left side there is a recreational hub and on the right side it is a footpath and a road a person walking on the street at a night hour would always feel so insecure but if this boundary wall is removed there would be constant eyes on the street, which would create a very secure environment and no mishap could happen at any chance. Similarly, there should be various amenities located in a street that allows the street to be more pedestrian friendly and anyone can walk there without having any problems. There should be proper signages, a clear path for pedestrian without any hindrance of hawkers, a separate space for uh, sitting and hawker zone should be provided so that people can just walk in access to various amenities and post box and toilets dustbin should also be there which helps in creating our environment clean and green also the streets should be designed such that bicycles are given equal opportunity to be driven like I personally love bicycling and if I need to go a place which is very near, I would love to take my bicycle, but this pollution and the high traffic doesn't allow me to do that because it is very risky if any high speed vehicle hits me or I get ill due to pollutions. But if there's a good connectivity of Metro, people would use their cars less. And if there is a separate lane for bicycles, Bicycle people can easily move their bicycle without getting hindered by fast moving traffic. And this way pollution will also be reduced. We have all, but we often forget while designing these places, the people like these, the people who are differently abled, but often whom we make them disabled. They are not disabled. We often call them person with disabilities, they are not dis dis disabled, they are differently abled, who can do everything we, we do, but in a different way. Like, these are some of the things which can be done in the city planning level, like the buses, DTC buses have ramps for the differently abled people who use wheelchair. However, the driver stops the buses usually very far from the bus stops in such a way that the people have to take a very steep slope of this ramp, which is so difficult for a wheelchair person to be pulled by two people into the bus. If this bus was stopped near a bus stop, 
the slope of the ramp would have been so convenient that the wheelchair person could actually move it himself or herself into the bus also there ramps like this are very important in front of every school college educational institute office any public space so that a person with wheelchair can easily access these buildings but these ramps are missing in many places which hinders the differently able people to get equal opportunities in education work and policy making there is also a concept of table top in which the footpath is of the same material as of the road crossing and it is of the same level so a person who is walking or using a wheelchair can actually very conveniently cross the road and the material near this is very speed breaker so that a fast moving vehicle also have to slow down in front of these so these kind of small initiatives can help making the spaces more inclusive of all kinds of people we always think of poor rich all kinds of relation all different professional backgrounds but we often forget about the people who are differently able because as the city's population is rising so is the number of people with disabilities also increasing and to create a good cities in which everyone is inclusive and equally important we need to take care of all these things there are tactile tiles for blinds like we we have often seen them in metro stations these yellow color tiles these are actually for blind people who can walk on them and feel in which direction they have to go however these are not well maintained and if we look in this picture the tiles are broken and in this picture in between of the tiles there is a electric pole these things are so risky for anyone who is blind would have in major accident but we people don't look at these things seriously and many of us are not even aware that these tiles are for what reason and what impact it can have on a person who is actually using it so we citizens also need to be more aware and concerned about these people this can only be done when we communicate with them and know their needs and can act accordingly if we are more inclusive in our society we can actually act as a social capital and allow to create policies which can benefit all of us all each and every human being and to start with interacting with the differently able and different citizens the first step can be teaching the kids to be friends with all kinds of people their any mobility device should not be a barrier to friendships or relations these people are actually very humble and have a new perspective to life i once communicated with a girl who was blind she was sitting beside me in metro and i just like thought of talking to her and talking to her made me realize that she is as normal as me she has the same ambitions same dreams same hobbies as i have and she she likes to sing uh, and listen to songs of arijit singh she goes to college she studies but i felt in my mind that her life would be so difficult because people like us would not give jobs to them thinking of our stereotypes and assumptions that they won't be as equally good as the other people who are normally able and we just think of not giving them the opportunity to do the thing which we would easily give to a normally able person so my request to every one of you would be to interact with these people understand their requirements and be sensible with them so that we can create a resilient environment for them and they feel inclusive in this city and we make this delhi a smart city where these kind of people are very equally welcome and feel happy for that lively public spaces are very important where we can interact and get a space to just talk to them play with them and if these are accessible then only these things can happen
if we have good uh, contacts with our neighbors, we can actually have a good quality of health, life, and resilience. Like in COVID, when our neighbors were infected with COVID, the neighbors were the one who used to send them groceries or food to eat. If we didn't have good contacts with our neighbors, we could never help someone near us. We would not even know that someone is not well. So these kind of spaces, the small details in our surroundings can actually have a big impact in our life. And we need to make sure that if anything is not okay near our home, we should get it corrected, reaching to sources and some organizations who help them. So then only we can create an environment which is ex universally accessible and it is inclusive of all. So now I would like to open the stage for any questions anyone would have. Anyone would like to ask something? Yeah, sure. Uh, Bhavya, can I ask a question? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I really love the entire presentation. The suggestions are extremely useful. I was not able to identify uh, a concrete idea through which we can address the problem that you cited right in the beginning that we are going to touch a uh, level of population which will be higher than any other city in the world. So how do we address that? Because it's, uh, we can provide only so much. It will always be limited. Yes. So a very important question you have asked Osma Saroli and the government has created satellite towns near Delhi like Gurgaon and Noida and has connected them really well with cities like Delhi. So. Some people travel from Noida to Delhi to work and some people go from Delhi to Gurgaon to work. So this way, the towns which, are, which were near Delhi, which they have renamed as NCR, so they have included all these towns so that the, as Delhi has a limited space and we can't just keep on overloading and overloading. So these satellite towns are created so that they are very near to Delhi and we can travel these places very easily with metro. So just uh, people can com commute and some uh, like Noida is used as a industry. There are various film industries and uh, like manufacturing industries, all kinds of industries are there. So the people who have worked of that kind can travel from Delhi easily there. And like in my office also, many people live in Noida and come to Delhi on daily basis. So these kind of satellite towns help a lot in reducing the population of Delhi to some extent and helping us live a better environment. I hope it could answer your query to Smasa Ruli. Yes, thank you uh, for highlighting the presence of these satellite towns. I feel I'm like, sorry, if anybody else has a question, they can go forward. But uh, if, yeah, so I think Karthik has a question. Maybe you can. Okay, after ask. Karthik, I will come back to it. Over to you, Karthik. Yes, uh, thank you for this great presentation and insight to our Delhi. I want to ask what's your opinion and what's the solution regarding increasing pollution levels of Delhi city because Delhi is most polluted region on earth since last five, six years? I think the maximum pollution we have in our city is due to cars. And most of the cars are petrol cars. So nowadays, the metro connectivity has been so well that we can easily use metro to reach any corner of the city and even outside the city like Noida, Gurgaon. But if we are not able to connect to the place we want to go via metro, we can always use cleaner fuels like CNG. And nowadays, electric vehicles have also been to, uh, into the market and they are really cheap. After, like the after benefits of an electric car are really amazing. Like in petrol cars, the 
per uh, per kilometer rate is around seven rupees. But in electric cars, <clears throat> like the per kilometer cost is really less, and the uh, maintenance cost also re reduces. Like air filters and all are not required in electric cars. So if we reduce the usage of petrol cars and use bicycles, CNGs, and electric cars, and only if we are not able to use public transport because public transport reduces the pollution to a great extent so using all these different things instead of a petrol car could help bringing down the pollution level a lot i hope it could answer your query thank you but i'm not satisfied with the answer because <laughs> as far as i studied major pollutant of delhi is thumb there are two thermal power stations one okay. is indrapas power station thermal power station and another one is badarpur thermal power station so your suggestion are really nice regarding electric vehicle usage and public transport usage uh, i would like to add that uh, maybe government only the government can take the decision regarding shifting of power generation facility of thermal power to thermal power station outside the delhi ncr yeah. truly said uh, kartik and i would definitely do more research on about those power station and get back to you to some answer to how we can just move that outside delhi or how we could reduce the pollution created by those thermal power plants yes to master only you can ask the question now thank you thank you so much uh, bhavya i am not very sure if anyone else has uh, any other questions i welcome them to ask yeah okay sure to yes, i was sure to such <laughs> devi would have a question <laughs> waiting please go ahead i just wanted to know your views sir toastmaster bhavya uh, since post the covid situation do you think people have become you know more sensitive or more aware about not tampering with the environment that they will now take more precautions to save the environment do you think people's attitude has changed or will we get back to the old times what do you think it's just your personal opinion um okay so i will start with this club so uh once i asked the members uh, any benefit this thing the covid has done so many people said that the pollution level have really decreased after covid and we can see clear sky especially toast master will even send a picture of a balcony so i think at the personal level we all know that like commuting by a car definitely reduce like definitely increase pollution and we can reduce it by carpooling or using public transport or traveling less like after like after covid i'm sure many companies are continuing to do work from home as it is also saving the companies also like they don't have to pay for rent or electricity uh, like breaks and also i think to some extent post covid also work from home could continue like uh, calling employees alternate days or two two days a week so that can also reduce pollution to some extent and i think that's what i think thank you bhavya <laughs> points are being stated thank you so much thank you so i think we are <laughs> running out of time so like anyone who has any questions they can just message to me or mail to me i'll leave my contact number and email id in the chat box to usma sir only you can just ask my question on chat and it was a amazing to talk with you all today so now i would hand over the stage back to the toast master of the day over to you thank you so much toast master bhavya for the wonderful presentation let's give her a big round of applause or uh, now you can give feedback for toast master bhavya can take 30 seconds and in the meantime tech master can you launch the poll for the best speaker you have uh, there is a uh, window that has opened on your screen you need to select the best speaker whom do you think was the best speaker today you can vote for two options 
Alok and Toastmaster Bhavya. I hope for all have voted. In the meantime, mm. all of you are voting. Let me get back to the team and let me introduce you all to the next least explored place in Delhi, which I love the most and which I visited last week. That is Majnu Katila in uh, North Delhi area. That's a Tibetan colony located in Arunanagar region. As I entered that area, I felt I was out of Delhi. I didn't feel that I was in Delhi when I was really in Tibet. The narrow streets, the monasteries, temples, really loved the ambience there, loved the air there, I can say. And I happened to visit a restaurant called Coco Restaurant. And really loved having some amazing or authentic Tibetan food. Like it's a wet soupy noodle, what they call tukpa. Then there's something similar to momos, but not actually momos. Without the momos fillings, I can say it's called tingmo. Then there was one more Bhutanese dish which I tasted. That was, I'm not getting the name now. It was a potato. Uh, it was made of potato, cheese, full of spice, full of spice, but it was very tasty. And if you are going to... Uh, Arunanagar area, that is Majnuka Kila, do, do not miss this restaurant, Coco restaurant. Apart from that, there are number of shops where you can get uh, Tibetan items. Like I got a lot of crockery items, with beautiful design. I thought I'll revamp my kitchen with some design crockery. And so I got some spoons and bowls. It's worth visiting the Tibetan area. So I'll stop it here with the place. Let's start off with our next session. That is the impromptu speaking session or the table topic session. To conduct that, we have Toastmaster Jaya Ganguly with us. When I asked Toastmaster Jaya, which is the least explored place that she loved in Delhi? She said the Sanjay Van area. So, I too had been that area and really loved the scenery over there. So over to you, Toastmaster Jaya Ganguly, the table topic master. Hi. <clears throat> Am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Yeah. Every time I do this goof up, so this time I made it a point. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. For today, I am the Toastmaster, Table Topic Toastmaster, Jaya Gang. Uh, sorry, uh, at my end, there was some connectivity problem. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Uh, today's table topic will be conducted by myself, Jaya Ganguly. The purpose of the table topic is to practice and develop skill of impromptu communication by answering unrehearsed questions. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. For today, I will be asking questions based on the pictures that I will be sharing on the screen. There, <clears throat> one can choose number between one to 10 Am I audible or not? Uh, you're audible, Jaya. 
Uh, okay. Jaya, you can consider switching off your video if there is network issue. No, no, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. So, <clears throat> I will be asking questions based on the picture. I will give a situation. And we know that a picture is worth a thousand words. Sometimes multiple and complex ideas can be converted conveyed by a single <clears throat> still image. I would request the speakers to add content to the still pictures. So <clears throat> I will be soon sharing the screen and I will be uh, calling the speakers I would like some experienced speaker to pick up number from 1 to 10 so that the guests can get the essence of how the table topics are conducted. Who will come forward? Okay, let me try. Oh, okay. Uh, guest Gita Kashyap. Uh, choose a number between one to ten. Let me choose number one. Okay. Now, you are going for a hike. Yeah. And you are one of the hikers in the picture. Share your views about uh, as a hiker. Okay. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Jaya, for such a wonderful uh, picture. And such a wonderful talk. Wow. How beautiful. Lush. Along with my students to hike, this is somewhere in many parts. We went right inside the forest area. It was amazing. It was so amazing to see the away from the pollution of Delhi. Very, very refreshing and rejuvenating. All the exhaustion that we had, all the tiredness that I faced during my teaching period of time, it was all gone. It was so relaxing, so amazing. Even the children were enjoying. As we were walking through the forest, we heard the chirping of the birds. We heard a number of beautiful, we saw a number of beautiful birds, which we had never ever seen. We could actually hear the sound because it was there was no sound pollution here. Uh -huh. We could hear even the sound of some animals. As we were, we were in the safe zone, so we were uh, not, there was no attacked by the animals, but it was such an amazing uh, uh, hike. We went and we were not tired. We kept on walking. So some of the students, we carried some food with us. We carried some water with us. And under the trees, we sat down. Can, can you tell me the timing as well? I can't see the timing. Please let me know the timing. We sat under the trees and we were refreshing. We were having our food and yeah. water. It was really, really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we can travel more to uh, such Time is up, uh, please. Okay, thank you. Over to you, Jan. Actually, I couldn't see the card. <clears throat> there is a... Uh, before uh, the next speaker, I just want to add to it that your response must be at least for one minute 
and cannot be more than two minutes. You will be you will be able to see green signal after one minute, yellow signal at one minute thirty seconds, and red signal at two minutes. So those who qualify within the time will be they will qualify for the best table topic award. Now I want some another guest uh, speaker who would like to take up any number from apart from one, two to ten. Toastmaster, uh, guest Kalpesh Patil is raising the hand. <clears throat> okay, uh, Toastmaster. Um, Kalpe, guest Kalpesh Patel, choose a number between 2 to 10. 10. Guest Kalpesh Patel, you are an art critic. Art critic and you have gone for a, as a judge in an art competition and you are given this piece of art by a small kid. How are you going to judge it? Okay. Over to you, guest Kalpesh Patel. Yeah. Thank you for this uh, nice topic. Uh, and of course, uh, as a judge, I would get a lot of, you know, area of improvement. So a lot of, you uh, know, I would say weakness or positiveness. But as I know, I am going to check with a small child. So I have to be take care, you know, where I can motivate more about the child. Because uh, until unless, suppose it will not uh, give more motivation to the child, then I don't think it will do any more, uh, like kind of uh, get more creativity. So better way as a judge, I'll prefer to give more motivation. I asked him how uh, he or she can do better way this kind of art, but I more prefer to don't give a lot of uh, weakness. I always urge, I always request, I always give something new so that they create a lot of uh, creativity. So that is, you know, if the uh, child is required, you know, nowadays, you know, we have a lot of, uh, we can say competition in, in schools where, you know, we want like our, child will get good marks or he or she can do better. But rather than, you know, uh, uh, just chasing those kind of uh, figures or something, we should always do something where a child get admired a lot. Of. So that would be the good idea where we can give a lot of uh, free time, a lot of space so that child can grow or we get something new. Otherwise, we just always, as a judge, we always judging to child as a parents, we always are judging to them why you are not doing, why you do this. That would be create a lot of you know hurdle to them. So better as a judge, we should become a good judge, or we can always motivate. That's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you, guest Kalpesh Patel. Now I want some other person to take up some number apart from one and 10. Who will be the next speaker? Toastmaster Tito is raising hand. You can call him. Over to you, Toastmaster Tito. Choose a number apart from one and 10. Nine. You are in one of the cars, you are held up in traffic jam and you have to attend an important meeting. How, what are your feelings? Over to you, Toastmaster Tito. Uh, 
thank you so much uh, Toastmaster Jaya for giving such a relevant topic. This is a situation that I'm facing almost on a daily basis. Now COVID has taught us how to do uh, Google chat even while driving. And uh, prior to COVID, we were a bit paranoid of using this technology for uh, giving, uh, attending meetings or giving speeches. Now I have myself experienced how while driving, I have been attending meetings, uh, seeing presentations, even though not fully focused, but at least I could give my opinion. So this is something that uh, I am doing right now. And um, it is the new age that we are all seeing. And uh, the new technology that is there, it is helping us to take advantage of the traffic situations also. There are times when you have to look at certain PPT, which is uh, been shown on the screen. So you find the red light to be very uh, good to stop your car and see that presentation and give your opinion. At times, slow traffic is also really helpful. So in my opinion, uh, these situations for doing a Google meeting is very good because the traffic will be slow and uh, you can attend the meeting properly. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Tito. Uh, timer, do we have time? No, we don't have time. Time is up. Please, uh, you can end the table topics. Thank you. Uh, I request uh, for launching of the polls for the best table topic speaker. Time is up for folks. Yes, Santos, please continue. What are you saying? I'm saying to Jaya, she can proceed. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day, Devi Thank you so much, Toastmaster Jaya. Let's give her a big round of applause. That was a really innovative way of conducting a table topic session by showing pictures. Now, before going into the next session, that is the most important section of the Toastmasters meeting, let me give you a sneak peek into the next place to visit in Delhi. That is the Indo-African Friendship Rose Garden and the Bricks Garden. So these two gardens are situated in Chanakipuri area. They, say, uh, they are situated on the opposite side of each other. And one is to commemorate the India-Africa friendship and the other is in commemoration of the Bricks Summit. So Bricks Summit consists of five countries, Brazil, Russia, India, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. So I had been to this uh, these gardens like one month back, and I loved the variety of roses there. It's not just a place of seeing roses. It's also a place for morning walk. I could see many people coming at 12 or 1 to just walk. They were just fully involved in walking. So do visit this place if you get time and it's absolutely free of cost. The entry is absolutely free of cost. You'll really love enjoy uh, watching the roses over there. So now we have come to the most important section of a Toastmasters meeting. That is the general evaluation section. And we have our favorite our favorite Toastmaster, my personal favorite Toastmaster, Toastmaster Roli Sinha, experienced Toastmaster. And when I asked her, which is the explored place in Delhi that she loves, she said the Sanjeevan area, the Jahanpana area, and the Ridge area. So the Ridge area is one place which 
I wanted to explore, but unfortunately, due to COVID, it's closed. And I had been there like two weeks back, and it was closed. Maybe I will explore it someday. So let put your hands together to welcome the general evaluator for today's meeting, Toastmaster Roli Sinha. And let's keep the applause going for our wonderful Toastmaster of the meeting, who's taken us places while we are sitting in this meeting room. Virtual travel is probably the most efficient travel, isn't it? Why do we travel? Have you ever thought about it? Why do we travel? Toastmaster Bhavya, I'm going to pinpoint you. Would you like to answer? We travel to have a new change in our daily schedule. Like yes. when I attend Toastmasters meeting, I feel like I'm traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That is so true that we want a change. We want something new. And the best place that you can go is somewhere nearby where you've never been before. So indeed, it is a fantastic theme that our Toastmaster of the meeting has brought to us. Because when we travel, we learn something we've not learned earlier. And we have the chance of improving ourselves, which is the objective of the evaluation segment. The evaluation segment is the pillar on which the entire Toastmasters platform stands simply because we get immediate feedback we get to know where we need to improve and how we can do so so that in our future roles in our future stage time we can be even more impressive than we were today so the evaluation segment is divided into three parts first i'll be calling on the speech evaluators dedicated to the two speakers of today's meeting they will present their report, their observations about the speaker's speeches. And I encourage them that they follow the CRC approach that is commendations, recommendations, and finally commendation. The second segment will be the reports from our most attentive auxiliary role players who will probably be asking you some questions, who will probably be telling you how you've done on time, our accounts, language, etc. Finally, I will present my report, the observations that I have made during the entire meeting. So let me call on stage our first speech evaluator for the icebreaker speech that we listened to from Toastmaster Alok Kajur, Toastmaster Tito Matthew. Thank you so much, uh, General Evaluator of the day. Toastmaster Roli. The first step towards success of a person is when he or she challenges the status quo. And that is what Toastmaster Alok Kujur today did when he decided that he needs to give that icebreaker speech. The first, in fact, was his decision to join Toastmasters, then to take the challenge of giving the icebreaker speech. At any point, I never felt that he's giving an icebreaker speech because of the following reasons. First, he started the speech with a question. He shared the example of his childhood and he could connect with the audience. He stated, he shared certain examples which we all could relate. That is inability to go to the uh, stage when we saw other students performing well and we questioned ourselves about our own ability is something that we all would have faced in our childhood. The same examples he quoted and he could grab the attention of the audience. The third was he, he spoke about the uh, stagnation in his career when he's grown up. Now what to do, how to address the situation. He took a step, joined Toastmasters, and he's today here giving the speech. The fourth, he gave some good examples like, you know, how to uh, fear of failure and he will come out alive. Some good example way of uh, using the language. Now, the speech that he gave, the examples he gave, they were very good very well connected with the audience. Having said that, there are certain challenges that he need, to, he need to face it, or he need to challenge himself with these things. And the first one is the way he pronounced the words. The second is uh, the voice modulation. The content is good. When these two factors are good, automatically the speech will be excellent. And how to do it? What is the solution for it? 
The first is that we need to be a regular participant in every way. When you participate or practice, that is what makes you perfect. The second is at home, he can record his voice and listen. Then he will know where he is giving the breaks, what is the gaps that he need to give, how to uh, do the voice modulation. So these two steps, if he takes does on a regular basis, he can bring a lot of change in the way that he's giving a speech. So uh, as mentioned by uh, Toastmaster Alok Kujur in his speech, that a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. He took the first step today and I congratulate him for his uh, courage or his uh, you know, uh, bravery for coming and facing the audience and uh, speaking on a topic about himself and grabbing maximum attention. My best wishes to him for a great time with Toastmasters. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Tito, for that careful analysis of Toastmaster Alok's speech. Now let's invite one of our veteran and one of my favorites, apart from Toastmaster Deviti, Toastmaster Sajal Jain, to evaluate the speech of Toastmaster Bhavya. Thank you so much, Madam General Evaluator. A very good evening, everyone. Delhi, a smart city. Coincidences do happen, and sometimes they turn out to be extremely lucky. Today, the theme is Delhi, unexplored places. And the speech was about Delhi, a city which I'll always call home. And I knew it right then that I'm in for a treat. It's like Toastmaster Bhavya listened to every Delhi Heights heart today and listed out all the problems that we are facing and provided lucid solutions to them. The slides in the PPT were extremely engaging and effective. With less text and more pictures, these slides were extremely attractive. And it made it difficult for me to look down and write as I didn't want to miss a slide. The content of the speech was relevant and informative. It was need of the hour for us to know where we are lacking. The speech at some incidences followed a very logical chain. When she said in one slide that, you know, Delhi is, become, uh, is about to become one of the most populated cities in the world. Then she went on to say that how it is affecting us. Then she said that the government is uh, having some programs which can help us tackle that problem. And in the end, she uh, came to what, can, what we can do to make it a smart city. The structure was, of the speech was amazing. The speaker could challenge herself uh, at, by using different pace of voice at some points. Although the speech was full of informative content and facts, it was difficult to incorporate that vocal variety in the speech. But I found that at some points, the speaker could try to use a bit more of pressure. For example, when she said, uh, when she was talking about Delhi to become one of the most populated cities in the world, she could say that, Will you like to, would you like to live in one of the most populated cities in the world? Shouldn't we do something? Or when she said, uh, she could put a bit of more shock in that sentence. Um, it was such an impactful content that deep voice at some points could make it more impactful. For example, when she said that it's not disabled, it's differently abled. The seriousness in her voice could uh, help make that point a bit more impactful. From sharing her personal experiences in the metro to riding bicycles to giving us a reality check, the speech had everything. The objective of a question and answer speech is not to answer every question correctly, but to not get flustered and answer it in the best, to the best of our abilities and to respond in a calm way, which I think Toastmaster Bhavya did a commendable job at. Another objective of the speech was to manage time. And with help of Toastmaster Karthik, Toastmaster Bhavya did this job superbly. It was overall a very structured speech with very informative content. A bit work on vocal variety can take it to another level. In the end, she made us realize that it's up to us citizens to ensure that the city, the capital city of India can soon be called the smart city. Over to you, Toastmaster Roli. 
Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Sajal, for your analysis and observations and the clear structure in which you presented your evaluation. It is time for our tech master to do a little job for us. Please launch the poll for the best speech evaluator. Audience members, please vote for the best speech evaluator according to you, Toastmaster Tito or Toastmaster Sajal. May Please. I move on? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Santosh. And may I also call you Toastmaster Santosh? Yeah, Audience sure. members, it's time for you to answer questions for our wonderful listener who will be having her session now. It's her time. Let's welcome Toastmaster Santosh Devi. Thank you, Toastmaster Roli. So uh, I'm here with my questions. The first question goes to Toastmaster Bhavya. According to Devi, what was the second most explored area? Kutum uh, Minar complex. No. May I? Anyone? May I? Toastmaster Bela wants to answer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Majnu Katila. Yeah, right. Yes, Excellent. Okay, next question goes to Kalpesh Patel. What is the synonym of Alok name? Uh, I forget about it. Alok okay. means. So, okay. He was saying something. I'm, I'm, I'm very against about my name. I forget what was that. I have another question for you. What was the speech title of Alok Kujur? The answer is reinventing myself. Reinvent, yes, reinvent. Okay. So next question goes to Karthik Mishra. Karthik? Yes, uh, Toastmaster. Okay. Devi D mentioned about the Bhutani dish was made up of potato. Uh, potato. One more component. Please also mention that. Thukpa she said about. Potato plus cheese. Cheese. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question goes to Toastmaster Tito Matthew. Tito? Yes, Toastmaster Santos. Okay. According yeah, to... I'm here. I'm not okay. going. According to UN, United Nation, after how many years Delhi will be the most populated city? Yeah, I give answer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's continue. After... 10 years, 10, 10 years. Yeah, right. Excellent. 10, 10, 2013. <laughs> okay. Next question goes to Toastmaster Roli. Hi, Roli. Hello. Okay. What kind of tiles should use for the blinds? Tactile. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Next question goes to Toastmaster Sajal. Sajal. Hi, Toastmaster. Yeah. What was the speech title for Toastmaster? Uh, what was the table topics? What was the title? <laughs> okay, sorry. What was the topic for Gita Kashyap in the table topic session? I remember the picture of the forest, lush green forest. Okay, as a hiker. Yes, hiker. Yeah. Timer, do we have more time? 
I'm afraid you have exceeded the grace time limit, please. Okay, thank you, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Over to you, Toastmaster Roli Sina. Thank you, Toastmaster Santosh. That was quite a session. I would encourage you and request you to please stay on the stage and give us your report as the language evaluator. I hope okay. I have not sure. made it too obscure for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm very happy that you used the word of the day. Okay. Uh, I'm here with my report of language as a language evaluator. So there are a number of good uses of the word like grounded person, exhausted, outspoken, aspiring, stagnant, uh, hindrance, resilient, concrete. Uh, there are some uh, mispronounced uh, words like tone. This is not tone, this is town. And another is, this is not curriculum, this is curriculum. Another is, this is not engineer, that is engineer. And the uh, another word is not dismissed, that is de demise. Uh, another wrong uh, sentence was like uh, thing gets changed. It it not be thing gets changed. I think it would be things get changed. And the word of the day only used by the Toastmaster Roli Sina. That's uh, uh, I have a, two quotes. A thousand miles begins with the single step, and a picture is worth. A thousand words. That's all from my side. Or to your Toastmaster Roli Sina. Thank you so much, Madam Language Evaluator and listener. I think you deserve a standing ovation, but we just keep sitting and applauding for a little more than we do normally. Thank you so much, everyone. And it's time to know how many hours and ums, how many breaks we had in our journey today. So let me call on stage our, our counter of the day, Toastmaster Vela Agarwal. Thank you, General Evaluator. Good evening once again. Uh, first, I would like to congratulate Toastmaster Alok Kubi for his icebreaker speech. He used uh, six times in his speech. But when I delivered my icebreaker speech, I used n time of uh, in my speech. So you did really very good. Now I am coming to my uh, report. A big round applause for them who didn't use any uh, uh, sounds, uh, filler sounds. And with them, Toastmaster David, Toastmaster Roli, Toastmaster Sajal Jain, Toastmaster Bhavya Jain and who used uh, as pillar sound between one to five, uh, that is Toastmaster Jaya, Toastmaster Gita, Toastmaster Kalpesh, and Toastmaster Kartik Mishra. And Toastmaster Kalpesh also used you know two times. And that's all from my end. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Madam R. Counter. That was quite a succinct report. Toastmaster Karthik, can we hear how bad or how well we are doing on time? All yours. Thank you, General Evaluator. I don't want to sound villain. <laughs> uh, let me sh uh, share the timings of each and every respective role player speakers and guest. The meeting started on time. So kudos to Sergeant Towns for meeting right for starting the meeting right on time. Now coming to the the essay uh, roll time limit uh, time taken by uh, Sergeant Towns Adam Kumar was 2 minutes 29 seconds. Then coming to President Bhavya Jain she had taken 4 minutes 1 second on uh, on the grace now coming to team odd 
she had taken seven minute three seconds uh, i'm afraid she has exceeded the time limit even more than uh, grace time now coming to the introduction of respected offside role players me and uh, bela agrawal she has, we have taken one minute on our introduction language evaluator and listener had taken same santosh devi had taken 48 second and 44 second respectively then coming to the introduction of speaker one within time limit 42 second uh, speaker one alok kujos time limit was uh, uh, time taken was 6 minute 8 seconds 8 seconds of grace on the time limit uh then coming to the speaker to uh, then plus if uh, speaker to bhavya jain had taken 20 minute 13 seconds 13 second grace now coming to the table topic section uh three speakers of table topics all of them are within time limit geeta kashyap had taken 2 minute 10 seconds 10 second grace speaker to kalpesh patel had taken 1 minute 39 seconds well within time limit speaker 3 tito matu you had taken 1 minute 16 seconds same within time limit now coming to the evaluation section uh, roli sena on the introduction of general uh, evaluation she had taken 2 minutes uh, speech evaluator 1 tito matthew had taken 2 minutes 47 seconds on evaluation uh, then next speech evaluator sachil jain had taken 3 minutes 14 seconds 14 second grace and now coming to the listener santosh devi she had taken 2 minutes 47 seconds within time limit and bela agarwal had taken 1 minute 49 seconds within time limit that's it from my report on uh, uh this qualification should i mention or not i don't know okay i should mention yes please do uh, uh this qualification a uh, team mod and listener they are more than grace time limit okay okay thank you so much uh, toastmaster kartik big round of applause for maintaining that strict vigilance on us and ensuring that i am very happy to note that we are bang on time as far as the agenda is concerned if anyone wants to go and refer we are to the minute uh bang on time so i'm really happy that he has been maintaining this uh strictness he's not a villain definitely not a villain he's the reason why we will end on time uh let me begin with my report now so we were hi roli i'm sorry yes. for interruption can i launch the poll for mongsli role players uh i just wanted to give uh, toastmaster anand a little bit of time so okay, that he okay. can uh, adjust the polls according to the disqualifications as toastmaster kartik has just announced okay okay thank you roli okay. yeah you've been updated okay great so let's launch the polls on or toastmaster santosh either one of you can do that toastmaster kartik pause for me Yes, uh, I will take a note. Of. There is one person whose vote we are still waiting. So request uh, to that person if he or she can vote. 
Toastmaster Anand, I'm not sure if that's uh, my vote that you're waiting for because I can't see the no, polls on my laptop. One, one of the okay. person. Okay. Poll time limit has, has crossed. Okay. I hope we have a result. If not, uh, Toastmaster Anand request you to deliberate. And we let us proceed. Good. Great. Thank you. Okay. So let me begin with my report now. We started one minute late, which was partly due to me because I was happily chatting with our sergeant at arms and not allowing him to continue. And apologies for that. But I love the enthusiastic opening that our sergeant at arms had. He was so clear in his statement that even though the net connection at that time was either breaking at my end or at his end, I was still able to know our mission statement, our online meeting rules, and even the Zoom control options that we have started to show. I think that's a fantastic touch. Uh, he quoted our division and area, and that's the matter of pride for us. So thank you so much for that. Uh, he also noted that Taskmaster uh, will be Toastmaster Vikas as well. And that's a very nice uh, gesture. You must applaud it and continue it. Uh, after that, our uh, president took the stage, very warmly welcomed all of us, introduced the guests, asked them what their expectations were, acknowledged them. And she had a very personal intro to the Toastmaster of the meeting, which was very nice. And I would have really loved it if she could have made her opening a little more inspirational with maybe a story. It had uh, some message for us, but that could be added. And the second, if she could speak on the theme maybe a little bit. So maybe what she's saying can be connected with the theme more clearly. Maybe I was not able to establish it. Uh, the Toastmaster of the meeting has all of my applause because she ticked all of the boxes, whether it was introducing the theme, bringing us a novel theme, making us explore something different, something looking at the same things with new eyes, uh, introducing her role players in connection with her theme, making sure that she had connected with each one of the role players and the speakers and asked them their viewpoints on the theme, brought those to us in introduced even more new places in that process. And uh, she had everything like feedback link has to be mentioned, has to be shared just at the right time. The polls have to be launched at the right time. Applause has to be maintained throughout. And that was such a wonderful thing. It maintained the spirit and the enthusiasm throughout the meeting. I have all my applause for Toastmaster Devi. I think if you all can applaud her just one more time, it would be really great. For our auxiliary role players, the timer uh, had a very good opening, record, remind, repeat, report. I really loved that. And he smiled, which he does so rarely, and it made a terrific difference. And I hope that he continues that part. What I would love for him to do also is mention when he will be sharing that report, just for the benefit of the guests. And the R counter was introduced uh, with bumps and things that we encountered during our travels. She had her own personal intro to the theme, which was a very different thing. And I would just request her that she can keep the time in mind while introducing the role. The language evaluator was again, she could have correlated her introduction to the theme, but keeping in mind that she took the role at the last minute, in addition to her listener role, in addition to her responsibilities as a secretary, I think she did a fantastic job. And she ticked all of those things just for future language evaluators, make sure that the introduction is related to the theme. There was a bit of confusion, which is where I would request our 
uh, vice president education and the rest of the ec to be a little more proactive in informing the right people so that we are aware of who exactly has been replaced whenever any changes happen at the last minute so just keep in mind and make sure that that person knows the auxiliary role players conducted uh, so the listener also had a fantastic session and she had very interesting questions and i could feel the palpitations of the audience if i am called because i certainly took a deep breath of sigh of relief when i could answer her question i would also request her that she can answer those questions which weren't answered for example toastmaster alok's name means brightness as the language evaluator it's a very good idea if we could name the people who had used the language correctly and creatively and it was very good that it was not done for the people who weren't able to use the language so effectively uh, toastmaster alok i would like to mention did use the word obscure in his icebreaker which is a phenomenal effort and task and it shows his willingness to learn how committed he is on his toastmasters journey so that was just one spot that we could have taken care of the timer kartik i have already appreciated i do not have much further room for any suggestions except the what i have already shared that you could have shared when you will be sharing the report too many shares happening and let me uh, get to the uh, table topic session so we had three speakers today toastmaster geeta kashyap and i'm not seeing any background thank you uh, toastmaster geeta kashyap uh, spoke on her experience as a hiker she shared a personal story she was very alert about her timing and uh, to toastmaster geeta i want to just suggest i've noticed this that there is some scraping sound which comes when she is speaking probably the mic or the wire scrapes while she is moving and speaking so maybe she can take care of that part because it prevented me from hearing the first part of her story toastmaster kalpesh uh, was the art critic for a small child's painting his approach was very sensitive and motivating i think that the personal story if he could have added it it could have added another color to the value the speech toastmaster tito was stuck in a jam he shared his personal experience very well done and i think the structure could be improved to ensure that the ending is a little more concrete the table topics master fantastically uh, conducted session the um, the timing cards how they will be displayed could have been told to the table topic speakers before they were called to the stage uh, reiterate the word of the day so that they use it during the speeches and just watch the screen and participants uh, list to make sure that Uh, the table topics master is aware of which attendee is raising their hands virtually or physically but otherwise i loved the idea of pictures because they do add more than 1000 words and this is where i will uh, conclude my report and hand it back to the toast master of the day thank you for such a lovely meeting thank you so much toast master roli let's give her a big round of applause It was such a wonderful session and lot of takeaway points, and I'm sure each one of us will inculcate the feedback in the upcoming meetings. So now going ahead with the theme, now coming to the next list of least explored places in Delhi. Next, I'm going to tell you about two places. One is Sanjay Lake, another is Katsia Bag. Sanjay Lake. I really loved watching the migratory birds there, and also I liked the adventure island there. If some of you have visited, you know there's an adventure island there. I don't know if it's open now during the Corona times. There's some adventure sports you can take part in. It's really an interesting experience. And this uh, Sanjay Lake is situated in Trilokpuri area, East Delhi area. 
and coming to katsia bag this is one area i had no idea about until i visited it last week that's near the ridge area around 10 uh, 10 minutes from the ridge area in the old delhi side and what i really loved there was the garden filled with parrots i saw that there were like 10 20 30 parrots and all of them having grains with the pigeons in the cities we don't get to see parrots a lot they are hidden in between the trees and here they were all in the open it was like i mean the parrot paradise i'm a like parrot lover and I really enjoyed going to that place and i would really visit keep visiting those place again and again so now that i have given my list of least explored places in delhi now i would like to hear from the audience what up to some places you have visited so that i and the others can plan our next visit any of you can raise your hands and unmute yourself and give one or two just mention the name and which place it is situated in any of you would you like to share i would like to share as kartik uh i would like to uh, share that uh, now uh, these days corona due to corona most of the places are closed i would recommend it whosoever will visit uh, red fort since 2019 please visit the museums which was newly constructed since 2019 and it says about 1857 revolt mm -hmm. indian struggle for independence and there is one separate section for Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, and the last section, which is most interesting, is about the artists and painters of India. So I found that better than listening to the guide who explains about that fort. So my recommendation is that thing. After this Corona gets over and all of you get vaccinated. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> thank you so much, Karthik. That's indeed a wonderful suggestion. Hope we all can go there. Now, coming to the next audience member, any of you would you like to share? Sajjal, would you like to share something? So, uh, just before lockdown, I went to Nehru Planetarium with my nephew. So he is like uh, six, seven years old. so the curiosity he had so there they had a weighing machine where you can weigh yourself on every planet mm -hmm. so he was having fun with it that like you are a uh, minus you are in negative on mars or you are in 100 kg on this so we were having a lot of fun there and there were many instruments of telescope and we could look up and there was a uh, show that we can see all the stars on the roof and so we were all feeling sleepy but he was the most enthusiastic person in the group so i would suggest that if you're going to a place like nehru planetarium go with a kid mm -hmm. and you will like see it from his eyes so you will actually be a lot more curious than you were before and it was a very beautiful experience for me so that is one trip that i always remember thank you sajjal thanks for sharing this wonderful experience let's give a big round of applause for toastmaster kartik and toastmaster sajjal i hope some of you have noted down in your book or in your mind these places and would definitely visit these places and i really enjoyed this evening taking you all to a virtual tour i can say because of corona we are in a restricted zone but with this i felt that i'm on a good tour with all of you hope you all enjoyed listening to these places the descriptions of the places and hope you'll visit it some day so with this it's end i'm coming to the end of my role so i hand over the stage back to madam president toastmaster bhavya jain thank you so much all the role players and speak speakers for making this meeting so amazing now i would request toastmaster santosh to please launch the polls for best role players you can vote for toastmaster jaya ganglu as gangli as table topic master and toastmaster roli as general evaluator three of the people are left to vote please vote
Okay, thank you everyone for voting. So I'm ending the poll now. So we had a few guests in today's meeting and Toastmaster Geeta and Toastmaster Kalpesh are already Toastmasters. So I would like to get their feedback, how they liked our meeting and anything which we can improve on. So starting with Toastmaster Kalpesh Patel, over to you. Yeah. Thank you for having me, first of all. And I would like to thanks to everyone, especially of Anand for sharing this meeting link. It was without that I was not participating in that meeting. And meeting was very superb. I thoroughly enjoyed the entire meeting, especially G, uh, TM Roli Sinha. Uh, that uh, you know, entire uh, that report was very, very crispy. It was very nice. Who has given very good feedback to me also. Thank you. Thank you for that. I just want to add few points. If you can possible, then please give more time to table speaker, table topic master, so that you know, the table topic master can invite more guests and in impromptu speech, and that will help you to increase conversation ratio from guest to a Toastmaster. And we get more people can you know enroll on Toastmaster Club, and we get a lot of strength. That is you know I think three uh, table topic speech today. It would be good you can add more people in impromptu speech. And it is a pleasure to be part of this memorable meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kalpesh, for joining us. And it was a pleasure to ha have you here. We'll keep and it. One more last thing you can join my club meeting every Sunday at 10 a.m. club, 10 a.m. I'll share this, uh, share link this in a uh, chat. So if you, if sure. you are free on Sunday morning, then you please join my club meeting. Sure, we would love to attend a meeting in your club. Thank you for inviting Thank us. You. So next, let, let's hear from Toastmaster Geeta Kashyap. Ma'am, please share your feedback. Yeah, thank you so much. It was a wonderful meeting. Enjoyed each and every speaker. Loved Roli Sinha's voice. I really love her. Devi D, Bhavya, all of you were amazing. I just enjoyed uh, your meeting throughout. And uh, Roli Sina, I just wanted to know once again, was my uh, was it for everybody that it was not clear in the beginning? Or when I spoke about my uh, this, uh, table topic, was it uh, none of you could hear in the beginning? Uh, yes, yes, right. Face the issue, ma'am. Initially, the sound was low and there were some background uh, issues, but later on it was fine. Okay, I'll have to keep a check on that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much to Master Geeta for joining us. It's always a pleasure to see you in our meetings. Thank now you. I would request Toastmaster Santosh to please share the certificates and let's see who all are the winners in today's meeting. So starting with table topic speaker, Toastmaster Geeta Kashyap. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Best speaker, Toastmaster Bhavya Jain. Congratulations, Bhavya. Thank you, Santosh. Best auxiliary role player award goes to Toastmaster Karthik Mishra. Congratulations, Toastmaster Karthik. Thank you for helping <coughs> us be on time in today's meeting. Kudos to you. The best evaluator goes to Toastmaster Sajal. Congratulations, Sajal. Thank you, Bhavya. The best role player award goes to Toastmaster Roli Sinha. Congratulations, Toastmaster Roli. Thank you, Toastmaster Bhavya. I just like to say one thing. Uh, we should take the entire time taken by the Toastmaster of the day into account before trying to calculate the qualification and disqualification for the award. I think if you calculate the time that she took for ending her part, it would compensate for the time that she exceeded during the intro. And uh, in my opinion, she was the role player, best role player of the meeting. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Toastmaster Dave, you were amazing. I think the award goes to you too also. Congratulations, Toastmaster Devi. Thank you. <laughs> So uh, 
I would request everyone to please turn on your videos for the group fee. We can do a one for Delhi one Toastmasters. Uh, Toastmasters, Sajal, can you take a screenshot? I will. Roli, you can come on video. Dila, ma'am. I am sorry. I won't be able to switch on the video here. Apologies. Okay. Uh, just pretend I'm raising one finger and the right <laughs> finger. <laughs> okay. So, one, two, three. Done. Thank you, Toastmaster Sajal. So I have an announcement for you all. So we are planning to have our table topic contest and international speech contest on uh, 26th February. So for ISP, there is a criteria that every member who is participating should have at least completed level two. So I would request any member who wants who wish to participate should complete their level two before 26 so that you can also participate and we would encourage maximum participation in the contest and there are various modules happening so we will share the links for those modules so that you can have a better insight about the contest and perform the best so with that i would like to conclude the meeting and hope to see you all in the next meeting as well bye everyone bye bye Bye, everybody. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Bye.